Welcome back guys, I'm Zell and it's time to get this Buck Marksman finished up and put back together. I noticed whenever looking at the two Marksmen that the one that I did had a little more worn look to it. And I wanted to, one, show you guys what I did to get this worn look. And secondly, give this one just a little more of that worn-in look. So what I did initially on mine was I used some uh, 600 grit emery cloth, I think it was. And I just did it dry. And, you know, and that works. Obviously, works out fine. But today, we're going to use some... 1500 grit uh, wet dry sandpaper because I just want to take a little bit from the high points here and give it just that little more a little bit more of a worn look and I'm gonna get this stuff just a little damp and just lightly run it over it And it's not a huge difference. In fact, I see that I want to get a little more down here. And that's why I'm using the 1500 grit paper. I don't want to take a whole lot of material away all at once. I want to be able to kind of control what I'm doing. If I went after this with uh, 600 grit again, things would happen a whole lot faster. And there, there we go. That's about what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other scale, and then we'll get to assembly of this guy. Alright guys, so here we go with reassembly of this Buck Marksman. Now that we're all assembled, this guy is sharpened, assembled, everything's working good, and let's go back over what we did real quick. Okay, first off, we took this thing apart, and then we went to the grinders. We extended this sharpening choil just a little bit so that we didn't have that major hook in the edge of the blade, and we also went through this thing and softened it up a little bit. Gave it a more rounded feel. And you can see the difference right there. The uh, 830, was this 831? Yeah. The 831 has got nice sharp edges on that uh, lifting, on that back strap. And it can be a little rough to lift. And it some people think it's a little rough on their pockets. Well, this one, we rounded it off. Made it a little nicer on the pockets, a little easier on your thumb. And then, we softened all these just a bit so they won't be tearing up your pockets. Didn't do anything with these because they didn't need it. Same thing on this side. Softened those all up just a bit. Now they're not super soft, but we softened up enough that they shouldn't be tearing your pockets up nearly as bad as a stock marksman. And then... We took this thing out and dipped her in the acid, and let's see if we can get a good shot there. And then we stonewashed the heck out of it. And we got, didn't get quite as dark as I would have liked, but we did get a very 
even smooth stone wash pattern feels really really nice and I rather like that look and we also stone wash the back strap and these pieces the internal pieces here and then whenever we went to put it together we put brand new screws straight from Buck right here and right here and I forgot the most important part whenever we started this thing we uh, went through it and distressed it some and by distressing it all we really did was took some fairly high grit sandpaper and went over it lightly to give it that distressed appearance and you know I kinda like that uh, Jerry Mellon's is the one that actually did the first round on this knife and I went through and I gave it a little more because I wanted it to have kind of that really distressed appearance yeah and there's that pocket clip pocket clip came out really nice anyhow that's what we got and it is just well I think it came out well you guys can have your own opinion of course and here's what we're gonna do I told you on Wednesday that we were gonna kind of auction it off and that's exactly what we're gonna do uh, it's gonna be a semi silent auction if you will uh, kind of set up like this the open or the floor bid will be 70 bucks if no one goes above 70 bucks well I'll just keep the knife because I rather like it too but uh, that really doesn't cover everything I've got into it, but I figure that's a good place to start. So bid increments will be five bucks, and to bid on the knife, you need to email me. The email address is down in the description, and I will try to periodically throughout the evening this evening and Saturday update the bids. Now on Sunday, uh, about noon, I'm going to close the bidding, or I shouldn't say about, at noon central time, I'm going to close the bidding. Whomever has the highest bid at noon central time, I will, uh, they won the knife, they've won the auction. And uh, from 11 to noon central time on Sunday, I will do my best to give you a bid update every few minutes, every 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, and that bid update will be on Instagram and the final bid updates will probably be in the top comment on uh, this video so if you want the knife you know email me your bid like I said it's gonna be semi silent I am gonna give you some updates but uh, it's not gonna be a constantly updating thing like say an eBay auction and I hope that somebody gets this knife that wants it. And the other piece is there is a local animal charity that I rather like what they do. And uh, a portion of the proceeds from this auction will go to that animal charity. Uh, it will be a minimum of $30. And then that amount will go up as the uh, bids go up. So... If you're interested in the knife or you just want to support the animal charity and think it might be cool to have the knife uh, bid on the knife uh, anything under 100 bucks you're gonna have to cover about six dollars worth of shipping here in the US and that's another thing it's gonna be US only unless I have dealt with you outside of the US in uh, in some fashion that's been successful because uh, trying to send these things overseas gets really hairy and really expensive really fast uh, and sometimes things don't even make it to where they're supposed to go for months so I really don't want to do that to anybody so we're gonna stay United States uh, mailing address only uh, if the bidding gets over a hundred bucks then at that point I'll start taking care of the shipping for for here in the US a US mailing address and at some tip point slightly over a hundred bucks 
I'm going to start throwing some kind of bonus. Now, there will be, and I haven't decided on that bonus yet, but there will be a 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper with a picture of the knife on it explaining where the knife came from. I'll have it signed so that you know that this was the knife that was in the Bark Buck Marksman project videos. And, uh, of course, you'll have the videos to refer back to as well. But anyhow, guys, I really hope that somebody gets this that really wants it and uh, will really put this guy to use because this Buck Marksman needs some use. It's been fun, guys, this uh, Buck, Smart, Buck Marksman project. I have uh, learned quite a bit myself in doing it. I hope you guys learned something, too, and enjoyed watching it. I know that sharpening video was kind of long, but so many of you guys have asked for sharpening videos that I wanted to hit some of those tips for using that KME sharpener. And if you didn't watch it, you might want to go back if you're thinking about a KME. There's a handful of little tips in there that are worth your time. Anyhow, guys, I really appreciate you following along, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You guys have a wonderful day, and the bidding starts now.